Hey you guys, welcome back to Poor Man's Speed Shop. On this episode, we are going to be cleaning and painting my trunk, finishing it. There you go, that's better. I turned on the music so I could record this real quick. Um, so I'm gonna finish up cleaning and painting my trunk black. Um, me and a buddy did this a year or two ago. He actually did most of the work. So Caleb, if you're watching this, thank you, man. He, uh, he cleaned it. We didn't paint where the tire well goes. So I'm gonna do that now. It is painted black, so. But there's a mat that goes in here. And it's a trunk pan. I did this so it wouldn't rust. If there's the area I'm going to work in. So, enjoy this. I'm going to turn the music back up and get jamming on it. Again, Caleb, if you're watching this, thank you, man. Because, like I said, he did most of the work on this. Actually, he did a good. He did pretty much all of it. He sat here with a grinder and sand and stuff. But watching this, Caleb, thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. So, we'll get to it. Okay you guys, the trick to doing some painting I'm going to show you guys, it's basically everything else you want to put too heavy a coat on and you get runs. You just want to like feather it and you want to put light coats. Otherwise you get runs and bad things happen. And before everybody starts flipping their lid, the door is open, both doors. I don't have a fan running but I can step out if I need to. So, don't flip out. To be honest, you don't need a million dollar paint booth to paint cars. You just need to use common sense. You would really, if I wanted to drag my big fan out, you should really drag a fan out, put it facing the door, that way pull the fumes out. I'm not gonna do that, because I'm an idiot, so don't do what I'm doing. Um, pull the fan out, and that way it pulls the fumes out and shoves them out the door. So that way you don't just breathe them, because they are harmful. So, but yeah, you guys ready to watch this? I did a little bit, hang on. I did a little bit feathering it in. I'm probably gonna redo the bottom pan too, just to make it all look new. And uh, so far, so good. I mean, it's not that bad. You can see where I, where it feathered in. It's it's more of a uh, flat black. So, well, it says it can't says it is, but kind of looks like a gloss to me. I might, if I have enough paint, might hit rehit the whole trunk again. Just to brighten it up. So, all right, music time, painting time. I've been reading this area here where the spare tire goes. Is like a natural rust spot you know it's it's like the back frame rails on a g-body Chevy like if you guys you're my little rant if you guys get like a g-body Chevy which would be like 78 to 88 89 something like that those uh, Cutlass Regal Malibu Monte Carlo 
or El Camino. I might have said El Camino twice. Those type of cars. The frame, the back frame rails or the bumper bolts on is like a key area where they like to rust. So if you guys ever go look at a G body, which is those years right there for Malibu, I know for sure it's 80, 78 to 83. So when they made Malibu, you go look at something like that, check the frame rails. Make damn sure the frame rails are good and solid. The Malibu out back that we got this big block over here for, that car, the frame rails are perfect. I mean, the frame is worth what I gave for the whole car. So, but from what I hear now, there's more poor guys that watch my channel. Um, if any of you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this where the spare tire wheel sets is a key area for rust to form. And then I'm not, and then I'm going to give you guys some scope for down the road before I go painting. I know you guys love hearing me talk. Um, under the car. It's solid. I'm going to get underneath there and clean it up, get all the dirt and debris off, and then I'm going to undercoat the car. So that way it stays solid for many years to come. Um, some people, like if you are going to make this a drag car, I guess you'd, you could pull the undercoating off and it'd make it lighter. I'm not worried about making this car super fast. I want it to last. I want to be able to take it out on, you know, on a drive to town. And if it rains, it's not like a huge deal. Um, sometimes, like, I, I personally, me, I would be worried if a car didn't have undercoating on and you drove it in the rain that over time water gets collected and it starts to cause rust and rust causes rot and rot kills classic cars so Definitely not my best work. I did get some runs in it, so I will send it down the area with the runs and redo it. But there's no need for you guys to watch that. It's priority checking on priority being boring. So, so I'm gonna show you guys what it is, and then I'm gonna end the video here. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not bad, but it's also not good. I'm kind of ashamed I got a little bit of runs there and over in this area. So I'm probably gonna hit the whole bottom of this and uh, do it. I think this time though, I think I'm gonna re-hit the whole pan and I'm gonna use some of this on it. See if it turns out. If not, I always set it back down. But yeah, so don't forget, as usual, to like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.